guys, from 65 Days of Love, and this episode, I am going to cook an oatmeal cookie, or oatmeal cookies, for my mom. It's her birthday. And so, I thought one way to show love is actually baking. So, mom, this is for you. Happy birthday. Um, you know I normally take you out for dinner, or I write you a nice note, get you a gift, but this year, for all the almost 29 years that you've cooked for me, all the incredible Chinese bitter melon soup, this is for you, Mom. Now, what you also want is brown sugar. Now, the reason why you put brown sugar is because sometimes cookies are brown. So you wonder why cookies are brown? It's the brown sugar. Alright, right. put in the brown sugar. Then, of course, every cookie has to have white sugar. Why? White sugar purifies the cookie to make it more sweet. This is white. Purification. Simple. Now, these two little chickens right here, they're gonna go right on in. That's for you, Mom. I love you. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mm. Alright, here we go. We're gonna mix it all up now. It's actually the perfect time to know. Alright, I'm gonna pour in the first batch. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit. And uh, we can also drop in some raisins. Alright, so now's actually the fun time. The fun time now is to see the magic of cookie baking. How's a cookie actually become a cookie? So you take some of this like that. You just take a little bit of it like that, just like about the size of a little, uh, I don't know, ping pong ball. And then you just take that ping pong ball and you just drop it down like it's hot. And this special cookie goes out not just to my mom, this goes out to my friend Renee and her mom in Hong Kong. This one's for you, with nothing but love. Um, what we're going to do here is um, open up, make sure you got your mittens because this has to be safe. Alright, and you want to just take one. Turn to the side and you put two in there and you just drop it in, all right? Drop it in. Right now, the time says 9.38. In 12 minutes, we are gonna go and open this thing right here. Yeah, this oven here. And you're gonna see magic happen. I still believe in miracles. cookies. Um, I made them with all my heart. I know some of them don't look the most round. These ones do. And I uh, just want to say happy birthday and I hope you enjoy the cookies I made. Um, whether you eat all of them or you don't, just know that I love you. And I really want to say thank you because you're six years old this year. And I want to say happy 60th birthday mom. Uh, mama home one day. I uh, love you very, very much. And just want to say thank you with all that for being the best mom ever, and raising me, my two older sisters, Joyce and Nancy, um, just sacrificing all these years, showing me love by cooking, cleaning, working, taking care of the kids, uh, daycare, raising me on her own, being a single mom. I know it's not been easy, I know it's not been, it's not been uh, uh, an easy road. But I just wanna say, Mom, I really, really appreciate you, and I love you, I really do. And I know that things aren't always perfect with our family, and things aren't always specifically the best, but, I know that we have each other, and we have a family, and I hope you are absolutely ecstatic and surprised when you see these cookies come in the mail today. Here's five days of love. How do you show love? Big cookies. What's burning though? What do you think it is? Like, you like rock chores? No! Once you catch it, went off again. It seems to like me a lot every time I cook. Open the doors. Open the doors.